Mitt Romney is down in Florida today and picking up a couple of big name Republican endorsements. What can you tell us about that? Well, I don't. Endorsements give you a little bit of news. You know, they make news, um, and they may, you know, some of the credibility that you know uh, a politician has may rub off on someone that the politician endorses. But I, I, I don't think endorsements matter very much for very long. Um, but you know, you're not going to turn them down, and if you know, it gives you a splashy news conference where, you know, someone who's well known in the state comes out and says, you know, I'm for Romney, then you'll take it. And Romney's picked up a lot of endorsements, but um, the voters tend to make up their own minds, and they may love the person doing the endorsing, but that doesn't mean they're going to love the endorsee. Yeah, we're talking about Representative Ziliana Ross Layton and Mario Diaz Balart and his right. brother, uh, a former congressman. Lincoln yeah, Diaz Ballard, yeah. obviously three well-known members of the Cuban American community. Uh, Romney's stance on immigration supposedly has hurt him among Cuban Americans. This is perhaps a chance to to repair some of the damage. Well, it, it won't hurt, but you know, if, if the, and the Cuban American community, of course, has been politically distinct from the Hispanic community generally. It's been much more conservative owing a lot to its opposition to the Castro regime and the, you know, and the, and the history that, that, uh, of you know, how those people came here and the way they feel about the world. And, and there have been a much more Republican uh, uh, element. And I think at this stage, obviously, this is a Republican contest, so you know, doing well in that community is helpful. Whether it will translate to any um, greater standing for him among Hispanics in a general election campaign if he gets there would, would be, I think, doubtful. Our senior political analyst, Britt Hume, always good to have your expertise. Thanks, Britt. Thank you, John. Thank you.